Hello students, this is your AEM ma'am. I hope you're all keeping very well by the grace of God. As this pandemic has uh, befallen the human race, we are all bound to stay indoors. Nonetheless, every cloud, no matter how dark it is, always has a silver lining. We have all started practicing the proverb, precaution is better than cure. We are all making careful plannings in the present for the future. That is where our topic comes in today. So let's gear up for today's topic. That is the ant and the cricket, which has been adapted from Ishop's fables. The first thing that we are going to discuss is what is a fable. Then we are going to go into the explanation of the poem. Then we are going to see the working with the poem portion that has been solved for you. And last but not the least, I have some home assignment for you. So now children, what is a fable? So, a fable is a story, often with animals as characters, that conveys a moral. Remember that always there is a very deep moral in a fable. So now let's go into the poem. Let's read it together. A silly young cricket, accustomed to sing, through warm, sunny months of gay summer and spring, began to complain when he found that at home his cupboard was empty and winter was come. Not a crumb to be found on the snow-covered ground, not a flower could he see, not a leaf on a tree. Oh, what will become, says the cricket, of me? Now let us analyze these lines. A silly young cricket. Over here, when you are talking about the silly young cricket, it's just a cricket who is not much experienced and quite young. And he was always accustomed to sing. Accustomed to sing here means he was in the habit of always singing and enjoying like that. Through the warm, sunny months of gay summer and spring. What is the meaning of the word gay? You see here, it has been written for you. It means happy, cheerful began to complain when he found that at home his cupboard was empty and winter was come. Why did he start complaining? Because he was always enjoying and having fun and in a very, very jovial mood. Suddenly, in this way that it went on and on, he didn't even realize that the months of summer, the months of spring had gone and it was winter. Over here, the poet says winter was come, which means winter has come. His cupboard was empty, so there was no food because he did not store any food. Not a crumb was to be found on the snow-covered ground. What is crumb? It's a small fragment. It can be of a cake or it can be bread or it can also be biscuit. Now, before we move on, let me just uh, re remind you here. Cricket over here is not a game of cricket, okay? It's an insect related to the grasshoppers but with shorter legs. Now let's come back. So when he was in search of food, he was unable to see anything anywhere. Not a flower could he see, not a leaf on a tree. Children, we are all aware with the changes of nature and we do know what happens when winter comes. We have seen how the trees become without any leaves and there are no flowers anywhere. And so, oh, what will become, says the cricket of me. He was worried. He was thinking, how will I survive the winter? What will happen to me? And in this way, he was worrying and worrying. And then what he realized, at last by starvation and famine made bold, all dripping with wet and all trembling with cold, away he sat off to a miserly ant to see if to keep him alive, he would grant him shelter from the rain and a mouth full of grain. He wished only to borrow, he'd repay it tomorrow. If not, he must die of starvation and sorrow. So what is the meaning of the word starvation? You must have all heard it before. And what is the meaning of the word famine? You see, starvation means suffering that is caused by lack of food. And famine is extreme scarcity of food. Both are related to food, of course, because he was searching for food and nowhere could he find even a small piece. It was winter and everywhere it was snowing, he was dripping, it was rainy, it was cold. So 
what is dripping dripping means shedding small drops of liquid but here in this context it means water shedding water drops of rain and he was trembling he was trembling with cold it was icy cold outside so he was shaking and quivering and feeling very very cold what happened was he went to the miserly ant what is a miserly person who is a miserly person who stores more and more but spends very less very very the ant was such kind of a person over here to see if to keep him alive he would grant grant means here it was to if allow him give him any food give him anything at all give him shelter from the rain and a mouthful of grain he wished only to borrow he knew very well that uh, he needed the food to live he needed the shelter to survive so he was saying that he was only going to borrow he would return it later on he'd repay it tomorrow tomorrow literally does not mean the day after it meant after winter had passed if not he must die of starvation then he would not be able to live any longer he's going to die of starvation he's going to die of sorrow sorrow means sadness and in reply what does the ant say says the ant sorry says the ant to the cricket i am your servant and friend but we ants never borrow we ants never lend but tell me dear cricket did you lay nothing by when the weather was warm quoth the cricket not i the ant says to the cricket okay i am your servant i am your friend i will be there but we have a principle we ants are always going by a very disciplined principle we never borrow borrow means when you take a new something from others here it is given for you and we return them we take it with the promise of returning them we ants never lend we also don't give anything to anyone but tell me dear cricket did you lay nothing by what is the meaning of the word lay nothing by lay nothing by means did you save nothing what did you do throughout summer throughout spring there was a, an abundance of food at that time didn't you do anything when the weather when the weather was warm quoth the cricket not i he was busy singing and enjoying and having fun in the trees in the gardens so he didn't do anything quoth is an old english way of saying said it has been given in this meaning section for you now let's see what the ant has to say and what the cricket has to say my heart was light that i sang day and night for all nature looked gay you sang sir you say <laughs> go then says the ant and dance the winter away thus ending he hastily lifted the wicket and out of the door turned the poor little cricket folks call this a fable i'll warrant it true some crickets have four legs some have two children the, when the ant asked the cricket the cricket said my heart was light i was having fun i was enjoying i did not utilize my time doing anything worthwhile i was basically just enjoying my life in the summer and the spring season i was so happy i was so gay my heart was all about having fun i didn't do any future planning and hearing to that when the ant heard it he was shocked because ants are very very disciplined they are very resolute they have principles and they stick to it you must have seen ants in your own homes how they move in lines on the walls you will see they are a very very group of uh, disciplined insects so the ant says go then says the ant dance the winter away he simply says since you've been singing in the summer and spring go dance in the winter season i can't help you and he was really kind of angry with him he just said lifted the wicket and he said him to leave what is the meaning of the word hastily hastily means very very fast over here i'm sure i have given the meaning somewhere anyway i'm telling you write it down if required hastily means very very fast very swiftly and wicket wicket over here doesn't mean 
the wicket that you use in a game of cricket it means a very small door that you have attached with the big doors just give me a moment here I'm sorry the meaning has not been written over here I will write it for you over here if that's not a problem what is a wicket it's a small door it is attached to a big one children you must have seen garages and those garage doors they are big ones only when you use to take the car out you open the big garage door otherwise there are small doors along with it you just open them that is the wicket so turn the poor little cricket out of it and the ant went inside now the poet here says folks call this a fable i'll warrant it true that is i am telling you for sure that it's a fable but warrant means justify i am going to promise you that it has a very very deep moral behind it and what is the moral some crickets have four legs and some have two now you take a minute and tell me who are the two legged crickets if you have any doubt sometimes you might as well stand in front of the mirror we have all seen two legged crickets in our society in our lives sometimes we ourselves behave like two legged crickets don't we irresponsible we don't do any planning for the future we just have fun we keep on wallowing enjoying and doing what not in the present and later on we suffer so children let us end today's discussion with this positive thing that from now on we are always going to be like ants disciplined resolute and we are always going to plan for the future isn't it like we have already been planning nowadays aren't we we are storing food in advance so that we can survive quite okay in the coming future so now we are going to the working with the poem section and here you see all these questions are there after the poem in your book this has been solved for you the each and every question they are provided with good answers for you so that you can read them and you can practice them children please read these questions and answers and remember the more you practice the more perfect you become there are in total four questions in the book and all of them have been solved for you but life is all not about the bed of roses isn't it when there is rose there has to be some thorns as well so here i am with the home assignment for you okay so only only six little simple questions are there read them read the poem as many times as you want and read these questions and answer them they are very very simple ones just to the point answers and always remember life is good when you practice isn't it okay so that's it for the day remember you have to stay home you have to stay safe and be very very happy bye bye thank you